Hey, what's up you guys? Century Productions here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Blob Series Quicksilver figure. So here we got the Quicksilver. Uh, first and foremost, I gotta thank Shardmas Prime. He got this figure for me like almost five years ago, I think, at uh, 2009 Comic Con. Uh, asked me if I had it, I told him I didn't. Thanks bro, appreciate it. Just getting around to reviewing it. How do you like that? Anyways, so let's talk about this figure. Uh, this was right when Hasbro had taken over the reins from Toy Biz. Uh, the first two years of that were kind of rocky as far as um, how they were sculpting the figures and how they were painting the figures. I mean, you can kind of get a good idea. This was like right after Hasbro took over the reins, and there's just not much going on with this figure. It's a very simple figure. Uh, I, I do like the head sculpt, and we'll talk about that in just a second. I just want to talk about Days of Future Past. I don't know if any of you guys saw Days of Future Past, but the best scenes were with Quicksilver. I'm telling you, the best scenes were with Quicksilver. Uh, so you got to go out there and check that out. This was a, uh, a it was an awesome movie, man. So I was just so stoked off of Quicksilver. I said, why not just review that figure that I've been waiting so long to review? So here it is. Uh, so like I was talking about, this is from the Blob Build a Figure series comes with the variant and the variants actually the exact same figure just in green uh, so that's pretty cool like I said this is right when Hasbro took over I mean there's just I, there's a couple problems I, I don't know what kind of plastic they used or, or how they put these figures together or, or something but I get a lot of resistance when moving this figure I really do there's a lot of resistance around it, it feels like it's really stuck together and you might break it if you move it in the wrong way yet again there's still like this wobbly type of feel to it. It's just such a strange figure. Um, and we've seen this body mold a million times. It's on almost every other wave back when Hasbro had just taken over. So uh, we've seen this a million times before. But let's talk about this head sculpt. I do like this head sculpt. Uh, we got Petro right here. And um, of course everyone knows that Magneto's his dad. So he's kind of taken after him a little bit with the white hair. Uh, which is cool. But a very simple head sculpt. Um, there's not really too much going on with it. Uh, you can see the back of the hair is sculpted, and they got some like little ruffles and everything in the top of the head. But no paint application thrown in there. There's no gray. They could have added some gray in there to make it look stand out, you know, stuff like that. But they didn't. Um, but I mean, I, I mean, I give credit where credit's due. Hasbro's doing great now. I mean, they're doing such a good job. But this is just like I said, it was a weird time to be a Marvel Legends collector when this figure came out. It was just a very weird time. Uh, and we were getting we were getting a lot of figures that everyone had been demanding, but Hazard was just doing them all wrong, and it was just strange. Uh, I believe that this is definitely a figure that needs an updated mold. I think they really need to go out there and make another Quicksilver figure. Uh, this is the only one that's come out. Uh, they have come out with one. Uh, in Marvel Universe, which is actually really cool and is probably a little bit better than this one. Uh, I just really think that this one needs an updated mold. I really do. So let's go into here. There is some quality control issues as far as this white. You can see it's not painted on there properly or perfectly or whatever. Uh, which would probably be a little bit difficult since white is one of the harder colors to paint on a figure. And you also got to be careful with the white, the white paint because it just collects dust and it collects grime and filth and a bunch of stuff. I have a kingpin figure that is just totally destroyed because uh, it has the white suit. Because I, I mean, I must have picked it up right after I ate a rack of ribs or something because the whole thing is just covered in filth. So you got to be really careful when you got these figures with these like white gloves and everything. You just got to be super careful because you don't want to like dirty them up and it's a really hard to get them back into pristine condition. Um, but you can also tell a couple, I mean, there's just a couple things I noticed about this right off the bat. Um, so it looks like, here, let's zoom out a little bit. So it looks like we've got this just standard white, but the inside of the articulation is like this yellowish white, uh, which you can really notice, uh, which is kind of strange. And then we go into the crotch region, and this, pl this plastic right here is a different color blue, and this blue that follows the rest of the figure. So I don't know if that has to do with it being out of the package for too long, because I know a lot of Stormtrooper figures um, tend to get, you know, that yellowish white on their uh, uh, on the figure after a long time of being at, out of package. Uh, but I don't know. It's, it may be a, a, I don't know what kind of plastic they use or, or what happened exactly there, but this is a different colored blue. And then you go into the, the white down here, and like I said, you still can see uh, this yellowish white kind of protruding from inside the articulation of uh, the white right here, which is kind of strange. Uh, but other than that, I don't really have any 
any really big gripes. It's just not really too much to talk about with this figure. Like I said, very simple. You can see there's a different color blue on the inside of the articulation right there. Just little things I'm noticing. I'm, I'm probably just being a, a, a little overcritical uh, at this point. But I just want an updated Quicksilver. I really do want an updated Quicksilver, especially after seeing him in Days of Future Past. And he's coming out in Avengers 2. And both of the dudes that played him were both in Kick-Ass. What a coincidence. That's so funny. If you guys haven't read Son of M, uh, Shardimus Prime actually gave me that book too. Uh, he's all about Quicksilver. He's giving me a bunch of Quicksilver stuff. So you should read that too. It's a really good read. Uh, I really did like it. Let's talk about articulation. Head goes forward, goes back, 360 degree turn. A uh, piece of articulation inside of the arm right here, which allows it to kind of uh, get a, a better range of motion backwards. Uh, and then we got a piece of articulation at the top of the arm, which goes up and down, front and back. One piece at the uh, upper bicep right there, two pieces at the elbow, uh, one piece halfway through the forearm, and then one piece at the wrist, as well as the... Uh, finger articulation and I do like this gesture that they went with you can kind of get them in the the you know the the running pose if you want so I, I do like the option of them they should come they should make one with extra hands that'd be cool have them doing a bunch of different stuff I'm sure they could come up with some pretty funny gimmicks for a Quicksilver figure uh, as far as the diaphragm goes this goes up and down um, it does a 360 degree turn right here and I even like that if you move the diaphragm up that that white is still continued up there so uh, props to Hasbro on that. They have been uh, uh, doing that for a while, so and this is a good uh, a good example of that. But you can see the quality control issues. <laughs> why, why is that white going into the blues? It's so bad. And like, look at the mold right here. You can see like these little uh, indents, and you can see the line where it must have been pressed together. Mm mm. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Uh, but you go like I said, the waist has a piece of articulation right there. Ball joints at the uh, Ball joints at the top of the leg, piece of articulation right there, double jointed knees. Go into the feet halfway through the bottom of the leg, got a piece of articulation. Then of course we do have the ankle pivot. Uh, so Hasbro has been doing the ankle pivot, they just weren't consistent at giving every character the ankle pivot like they should have been. Um, but I'm glad this figure did get it. And then you can see there's some tread on the bottom of the feet which are a little dirty. But it also has toe articulation. And there's like a little, a couple little sculpting marks on there, it looks like. Um, so overall, like I said, it's not a bad figure. It's just not a great figure. I mean, it's a good attempt at a great figure. Add some more paint in there, uh, you know, uh, clean up the figure a little bit. And I think you got a, a really solid Quicksilver. But for right now, I think it's a decent Quicksilver. Uh, I would say if you have the money, you can shell out for it. I'm not exactly sure how much it is online. Um, but hopefully they come out with an updated mold. Like I said, an updated version of this would be really, really cool. All right, guys, this is Century Productions, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.